Black men are the bait of the family because of men like J. Edgar Hoover, Margaret Thatcher, Nixon, and Roosevelt. The bait is this. I'm going to get picked on at school. Where's your dad at? Where's your man at? But no black woman that I know really is thinking about that. No black female. They might be like, oh, my God, dad's home. And everybody come running. Dad, oh, dad you got a car. You got a station wagon. Dad got a taxi. Uh-oh. That's the, and it's right there in Florida, uh, Florida Evans in Good Times. Uh, James Evans. He cannot find a job. But when Florida find, tries to find a job, he's like, oh, my God. This is the only place. And the whole neighborhood, the whole family, even the extended relatives feel like that. We don't need Florida Evans to get a job at all. we got to stay in these projects, and we need Florida to be there. Then we could go out, Michael could go out, and J.J. is real smooth with all of it. But James Evans is a hothead. You know, no, he's not. He's broken. His spirit is completely broken. We see it again with Thelma's husband, that, you know, he's supposed to be a football star. And he's just like, you know, but can I leave the kids with him? Hell yeah. Not with Nicodemus, who got a manhole. He can spend that manhole anyway. And I get home. What happened? Uh, you know, Bookman, where's Bookman at? Where's uh, all the other pimps in the neighborhood? That's why black women like pimps. <coughs> somebody like Sierra, somebody like uh, me, Erica, we're throwing a hat. Because they know about pimping, you know, not really pimping. It's really character study. Like if you look at John Travolta, Staying in Life, we know uh, his woman is uh, Anna from General Hospital, and they're auditioning for a musical. Okay, I think it's on uh, Second Staying in Life. She has an understudy, so you can say I understudied Prince. I might understudy Missy Elliott, and I did. Hot boys. You got what I want. Because they've been driving Lexus and their Jeeps. And I might just look at them driving the, like EPMD. Doo-doo, tch, doo-doo, tch. And I'm respecting that. That nigga, he a boss player. But I'm not going to say he a pimp. If he talked to me, I'm like, yo, let me get some weed, man. But I'm not trying to suck his dick. So black men are bait. <coughs> <coughs> if they get evil, <coughs> evil, that's one thing. But they're the primary bait. If you take a reverend, for instance, if you take Reverend McCree. You take, uh, what's the famous black woman? Jesse Jackson. Oh my God, Jesse Jackson's dead. We know about his dirty past. Quincy Jones is dead, but he's a premier a music executive, premier music engineer. If you say Michael Jackson, oh my God, he's a super pop star. Oh my God. Uh, if you say T.D. Jakes, T.D. Jakes is dead? What the fuck you buy, bitch? <laughs>